Good morning, afternoon and evening my crazies. My name's Angela and I'm the crazy black poppy lady and <laughs> I'd like to welcome you back to this week's edition of Throwback Friday. Now, and just to give you a heads up, you are going to see this intro a lot over the next four to six weeks as I'm planning to batch create these videos so that I will have a little bit of a break over the summer holidays. So this little bit you'll see again so if you need to fast forward links to any of the videos mentioned today will be up above and in the drop back down box down below so on to a day's episode we have got the wall winder now for me this is really strange i put this one up thinking it might get five or six views and then it will just disappear into oblivion never to be seen again but it is still on my top 10 most favorite watched videos <laughs> is it because it's mesmerizing because it goes round and round and round i don't know i'll let you have a look um i've put the majority of the video on i have cut some of this off to try and keep um the length of this actual throwback friday uh, down to a reasonable amount so if you want to see the whole video for this one there will be a link coming on up here just now right so here it is all set up the uh, little wall winder from june it's a little bit clanky and a little bit noisy but once it gets working you don't notice it unless you're in another room right so today we're going to be caking up the papaya baltic this one is a 100 gram ball and there is 360 meters or 393 yards and it's 100 percent acrylic right so to start off with and load this up we're going to wrap our yarn twice around that little spiral there that then holds it in and that is our tension you then pop it through the split at the front and the back give yourself a nuff yarn so that as it spins it will wrap you hold it and you spin it and you spin it some more and you keep spinning and you just keep going and the only time you need to stop really is if your tension is a bit tighter due to the ball being quite tight that you're working from or if you've got a knot that you need to fix Tip number one, to keep your ball from un unravelling from this end, manually spin um, the yarn around a few times around your ball, keeping the tension reasonable. And then when you get near to the end, grab your hook, um, a, a nice small one, and then thread it through some of the layers of yarn. Grab your working yarn and just pull it through and that way it you tuck it in and um, it won't unravel so I'll show you that again look it through and pull it back and there we go tip number two with um, some scrap yarn that's of no colour doesn't look anything like you've got on there pop it through the loop on the top 
and that will mark off your uh, start point so you'll easily be able to see where you um, need to pull from. You can also use a small piece of paper and write down what the yarn is that it that you have if you don't have a band handy. Now tip three for those people like me that forget everything they do. <laughs> Keep hold of your own uh, your old yarn bands because they can come in handy when you're caking. Right, so for tip number three, use the band um, that you have with the yarn. This way, um, you won't you'll have all the details to hand when you um, make your project. So to do this, I literally will shove some tape on one side and spin it round and then tape the other. But as you can see here. This one's um, too wide for the band, so I just grab a spare bit of paper, normally a scrap bit that I've got, and pull it nice and tight, tape it on. And as I said, this way, and this way, you have all the information for that yarn to hand. And to remove, you support the bottom and the top you tuck your fingers well I do I tuck my fingers between the plastic ring and the yarn and then gently using my thumbs and my fingers pull it all up there you go nice cake to cake I find it easier to use a caked cake with the centro also when working from this you can work from the centre or from the, from the outside um, and I find that the balls um, as long as you don't move them around too much and bash them and squidge them they hold their shape really really well and so they're less likely to collapse in on themselves just one question which one of you evil tie rags is putting your little ones in front of this video to let them watch it rather than the washing machine like our parents did with us now for our next video it is a good vibes yarn mystery bag unboxing um so and now you're going to start seeing on these videos where that cube and that cube where the majority of that yarn came from and i've been naughty again well not completely all right i've had my bestie has asked me to make a blanket for her lad for christmas so of course i've had to put a yarn order in because it's for a massive blanket and I don't have the shades um, it's to match this so what I've had as I said I've had to put an order in there's just no stopping me <laughs> and it's arrived yeah so it's arrived today about five minutes ago now because I'd, I've sat and I've done the maths and worked out I hope how many balls I'm going to need um, and it turned out that to get free delivery I needed to put some more in so of course there's a ball of poppy red gone in because I've decided every time I order from them now as punishment I will have to put in a ball of red like the poppy red so that I have to make more poppies um, <laughs> but it's a bit of a cheeky thing for me it's like more red means more poppies so I did that and it still wasn't quite up to being over the £25 for delivery so I'm putting the mystery bag <laughs> oops <laughs> right so let's get this open and we'll see what we got right so I ordered this on the 22nd they shipped it out on the 23rd the delay has been caused down um, has been due to Hermes um, and this has arrived on the 28th of August I don't know why I bother stopping recording they've done a bonus thing for me right what they've done is I've actually got the two shades that I need pre already bagged up so, so that means I don't have to worry about trying to work out is in the mystery bag. Oh, 
Right, so some of the stuff at the bottom of this mystery bag may be the rest of the order for this. But let's get on with it. Right, so mystery item number one. It's fluffy, but it's not too fluffy, thank you. Okay, it's a different colour way to what I've previously had. Right, they are still, by the looks of it, they are still um, popping in the mislabeled um, Mandela cakes. But I have found out that this is the, let's turn it around so it looks nicer, there we go. These ones are the Mandela and Gora mix. Um, give me a second, I'm going to go off and have another read. Right, so I've now got the information up to the side of me so I can have a sneaky read. This is an Angora Melend cake. It's mislabeled, so they have to class it as imperfect because the label's wrong. There's nothing wrong with the yarn. Nothing at all. It's absolutely gorgeous. Right, so the information on that is they are selling these at the moment. There's a bit of a mystery one, so you're not picking the colour. Um, but if you're happy to not pick the colour, they are £2.25 each. Yeah, that's right. Um, only two twenty-five. Um, so, with this pricing, you are paying for one random Millend cake, the fluffy fuzzy Angora four ply. There's a pro there are approximately a hundred and fifty grams, but may maybe slightly over or slightly under, um, and they may have the wrong label on them. May contain knots missing colours odd colour weight they, she has to put that on just to cover herself really the fibre detail is 80% acrylic and 20% wool <clears throat> the weight is 150 grams and the length in metres is 825 it's a yarn weight 2 sport baby or a UK 4 ply now the care label for mach is machine wash and machine dry that's pretty nifty, isn't it? Right, so I've got another fuzzy. I've got it in that colourway this time. So it's got like the burnt orange, like the blues going out to a burnt yellow, burnt orange, and then back into um, blue. So I'll pop that one there as well. Let's hope they can stay stacked like that. Another fuzzy. Oh, very, very similar colourway, if not the same colourway as the previous one. Just slightly more differently, I hope. If not, I can mix and match it a little bit, can't I? Okay, and the next cake out. Same as first. There we go. So it looks to me like she's trying to make it so that we... Oh, that we get a cut... That I've managed to get a couple of each colourway you see so so at least then I can make something massive with it right also got some white but that's not part of the mystery that's part of that order and so is the yellow there's my poppy red another white part of that order right now she's put me a bag in the bottom do, do, do. Ooh, I like that I haven't got any of this one I don't think it's going to be a nightmare to work with mind <laughs> she has sent me four four ply special by uh, Stylecraft these this is in the shade midnight so it is a really really dark blue now this this is absolutely gorgeous and soft i love i must admit i do love stylecraft um especially their four ply because that's always really soft it's just a little bit thinner than um the dk the the shade is zero one no try again one zero one one I'd be no good as a computer, would I? <laughs> right, it is 100% acrylic. Um, there is 422 metres or 482 yards. 
knits to all four ply patterns wash at 40 cool tumble dry cool iron and it is a uh, what are we three millimeter on the hooks that's not too bad is it so for my whole mystery bag order which is a bit of a muddle for you all i know well there we go that is my mystery bag order now i'm just going to work out pricing and see how we go right so as you all know i like to do that i bought this i paid this much and this is what i got for free type scenario with this order because these cakes if you opted just to have an assortment sent to you this whole set oh knocked down <laughs> the, the whole set um the mystery bag would have worked out around 15 pound for the yarn but if you chose your colors of mandela uh, the prices that they are at the moment on site they are five pound fifty um for the the ones that aren't mislabeled and um so really in theory it's buy two of these and get the rest for free so that was two two of those and three of the style craft not a bad little deal was it i am um, nearly forgot to tell you about these colors uh, right these are all from the papaya love range they are all 100 grams and 360 meters or 393 yards 100% acrylic machine washable you also get a qr code for some free patterns on the label it is a three weight and they suggest a three-ish millimeter hook so i got them in oh, she says throwing them everywhere the burgundy which that's quite a nice representation there but there we go we have the burgundy which is color three two five zero there was the white which of course we all know is white and that is colour 1000 then I picked up the baby blue which is colour 5140 and last but not least I picked up the yellow which is colourway 7850 and as you can guess it's going to be a big blanket because I'm not 100% sure that I've got enough yarn help I love my bestie I got a get out of jail free card on that blanket when she realized how big it was going to end up being she was just like and just don't just don't worry about it just the cushion covers is enough Whew. but then saying that Captain Rippet's big brother is going to her instead so in the end i did end up making something extra for her anyway and our next video up today is whips bits and chat number 19 now again i'm going to cut into this where i can um if you want to see the full episode it will be in the link just there <laughs> right so updates on packages received by my crazies right my irish crazy has received her package now um this was from my birthday giveaway so we're still waiting on an update um from my two um crazies in america and my one in australia just so we know really how long it takes to post and then then once i've received an email back from those three i will then show you what i sent them right and also a little update um in whips and bits 18 wasn't it um i had a package come through from one of my crazies who i didn't name so this time around i'm gonna nickname her jen now jen received her package from me um a couple of days after the filming um which was really really cool so luckily she sent me a couple of pictures because i forgot to take them thankfully now within the pictures there is not a poppy kit 
and she found that after she'd taken the pictures right hiding in the bottom of the bag so please if you ever do receive anything from me make sure you check all the corners before chucking away because of all the little bits that I do end up putting in so here's her um here's what I sent her So yeah, I was a little bit cheeky with sending stuff out considering she was only going to be sending me the one thing. But I'm happy I did because otherwise I'd have felt like a right git for only sending one ball of wool and a thank you card. Right, so next thing. Right, um, I have got an upcoming yarn swap, my very, very first one ever. Now, I'm not going to tell you who it's with yet um, because her parcel is coming over from America so as we all know with the postal system the way it is at the moment it's going to feel like it's on the slow boat from China and um, going past China so um, I know it's sent because she said it's sent and mine's already gone out as well there's a bit of a cheeky story on that one actually um, I popped up to the post office and we all know how tight I am with postal prices and things so I'd fi found out um how much i like the size of a parcel that i like the size of and then how much i could go up to in weight now i've got to be careful what i say because i don't want to spoil it for her um so i'd rammed this box full and then weighed it and then found out i had to take some out but it's okay i only took the tatty bits out <laughs> um so then um i got up to the post office and the last behind the till was the last that knows me quite well and she's gone oh what you got today and i'm like i've got a yarn swap shh don't tell no one and she's like right okay put it on the scales she's like oh you just made that below the the threshold for the weight i was like i know i weighed it i was cheeky well she's given me the price on on the box which i knew how much it was going to cost me as long as i kept it within the right weights and um, she looks at me, she grins and she goes, you're getting in early. It's going up at the beginning of September again. And I'm like, yep, I remember you telling me, which is why I'm here today. She went, look, I know what you're like for being tight. She goes, but if you pay an extra like £1.20 or something silly it was, she goes, um, we can put that on recorded delivery and it fast tracks it. And I was like, what do you mean by fast track it? Because of course, I'm thinking it's going to be taking like four to six weeks to get there. She turns around and she says to me, for £1.50, Ange, you can get that shipped over in five working days. So, Missy, that should be arriving with you within another three. Because of course, we've got bank holiday over this weekend in the UK, so we don't count them days. Um, so you're looking at it arriving to you by Friday. So if you want to make the video up and stick it up, go for it. Because um, I know you're going to want to get in there, have a nose and have a play. And then as soon as the package that you've sent me arrives, I will then post up my video as well and show everybody. Because you know how excited I'm going to be. <gasps> Crazy yarn from America. Sweet. Right, so I had a couple of bits come through the post today. This was just general stuff that I'd ordered. Oh, about three months ago or give or take a week um because i'd ordered it from june it's one of these where you order it and have to wait for forever to get it now um i've also ordered some scissors but they've been lost in the post so i'm just waiting on them to have the time lapse on them so i can get my cash back but the ones um that i've got here are little buttons well, not little, not compared to the last load of little buttons I bought. Where were those ones? They're over here somewhere. My box of, um, these ones, my box of miniature buttons that are ridiculously small. Um, that I thought were going to be a lot bigger. Right, well, these ones are little um, character buttons. Um, now, I've bought some before, which were cheeky monkeys, which I haven't actually got to show you at the moment. But I thought I'd show you these ones. They're just bagged, mix, like mixed bags. And so we got, well, it's sort of in a bag like that. Right, so the first one had some of these. 
Now there are quite a few different colour variations. What have we got? Um, reds, purple, blue and yellow on those. And there's not six of any of them. So there it is in red. Come on, focus in. Whoop, that way around. There we go. Then, um, what was it? I've got about 20 little bumblebees. So I think they're quite, they're quite sweet. So they're That'd look pretty cute on a little one's top, wouldn't it? Then, uh, oh, some hedgehogs. I only got about four or five of those. What I'll do is, um, at the end of me showing you quickly, I'll lay them all out nice so we can see them and I'll stick a photo in. Some of those. Oh. Two giraffe. Where are we going to there? And then there were five little elephants, but the elephants are all different designs. I quite like this one. It's a little patchwork one. And then that one there. There was also some butterflies Oop. come on you Oop. there we go elephant stars and <laughs> a cheeky monkey apple come on oh that way there we go there's only the one of them, which is a shame because I quite like that one. A little rabbit. A big chunky rabbit. Now, I don't know quite what I could do with that one. I'm thinking maybe on like a um I'm thinking they would work that would work maybe as the button on a kid's shawl. Um and then a couple of others that I'm not going to show because I plan to send. Then I got a Christmas set. Now I'd ordered these in the hopes that they would arrive so that I could send them out as um, part of the Christmas in July fairies thing. And um, so they were ordered before I put my video up, but of course that they were lost in the post, so that didn't happen. But I'm thinking that some of these will end up going out at a later point for little prizes, because you know what I'm, I'm like for sending out the little package with lots of randomness in it. So. This will, some of these will be going into the random package. There we go. Hopefully with those, I'm going to be able to do something nice and um, something Christmassy a bit later on in the month. Well, probably next month. Which brings me on quite nicely to uh, this month's a little project that I've got got on the go um for you guys it is the um blanket the unicorn one where are you there we go it's the unicorn one now i have completed the first video that is going up in two days time now i'm not going to be rushing out the videos like i did with the unicorn blanket uh unicorn cushion sorry where i'd done them all and released them every other day what i plan to do is release this one 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 um block a week um over the next four to five weeks depending on um the time how long each video is now at the moment we've i've completed with the video as well this much which is up to row 20. um the so as i said row tw up to row 20 is going out now there is 83 rows in this so there is quite a lot of stop starting with filming so the plan is that it is going to be in either four or five parts but as i haven't finished or even started recording the second section yet i can't really go firm with how long it's going to take so if you did plan on joining in at this moment in time as well i'm not 100 percent sure on how much white you're going to need but your basic 
co extra colours that you're going to need, which is your black and then the colours that you're planning to use for the head and um, for the hair and things like that. You're looking at 25 gram balls for each of those. Um, so if you've got a 50 gram ball that's sitting there doing nothing that's calling to be used, sort of in your little uh, scrappy box, then grab those ones out because it's an ideal one to use those up with. Um, and then once I've completed, I'll be able to come back and inform you guys of how much white you're going to need. Because I don't remember, I made this way before, I made this before I started up YouTube and ever thought of writing down the pattern. So getting on to the pattern, it, I nearly completed writing it up about two or three days ago when one of my crazies messaged me and said, I'm a lefty, meaning left-handed. Um, are you going to do this in a left-handed pattern or are you going to be releasing the picture so that I can work from the opposite corner? I'm sitting there and I'm thinking, I flip it each, each time you do a row, you're flipping it. So there's not really a right way or a wrong way or a front and a back. It just depends on where you are within the pattern. I'm sitting there and I'm thinking, lefty, righty, this is a pattern I thought I'd be safe with. Because if you know how to do your corner to corner, then you've only got to follow the instructions on the side for how many boxes. And when you look at the screen to check it out, just flip your work round so it's sitting the same way mine is. And I'm there and I'm racking my brain. So I'm sitting there with this pattern in front of me and I think I would got up to row, what was it, about, yeah, I was, I'm looking at around, about row 50 I think I've got to. And I just went up to where I'd put the chart. And I thought, I wonder what it would look like left-handed, which was a bit daft, really, because all I had to do was pick the blanket up from the side of me and turn it round. But no, I flicked the picture. And then I realised that by flipping the picture meant that instead of picking up and dropping off pretty much every colour that is in... Come here, you. <sighs> ..that's in this. So these sections here, as I was working them, I was working that way across for the original which meant you was doing a oh where am i doing a purple then you'd do a couple of purple couple of yellow couple of pink couple of blue couple of blue and then coming back the other way and having to swap your colors over constantly and it drove me insane when i was doing it but i was determined to get it done but and just by flipping it around it's made it so much easier we are literally just going to be going two rows of each colour with an occasional bump in. So I saw that and I'm just like, right, I need to rewrite this pattern because if I can make a pattern easier, I will. So I fix it all round, started checking off my box count, realised that because it's mirrored, the box count on most of the rows, if not all of the rows, were um, out. So then started recounting the boxes and rewriting it as if I was writing it from the beginning again. So that took me another day and a bit to do until I got that bit done. And now it's just wait, that pattern is just waiting on photos, thankfully. Um, <clears throat> which also brings me around to a cheeky. Um, at the end of the last whips and bits, um, I'd actually put in the outtakes a little competition, which was if you wanted to get hold of this pattern before I've released all the videos, um, and to pop a comment in which included the word unicorn and then out of those I, I was going to um, use a random comment picker and pick a name. So let's get over and let's choose the name. Right so I've pulled up the random comment picker, enter in the URL, now it's filled to your comments. With the word unicorn. Now let's get our comments. Right, we've got 38 of them. Right, so let's press start and good luck everybody. <laughs> Jim Brandon, um, have I got a chart for the unicorn? You prefer to do a C2C of them as you're left handed. I can just start working on the left of the chart instead of the right. 
this is insane um because jen's my lefty that's helping me testy so <laughs> um i'm actually gonna grab a another winner jen i will send it out to you you're, you're getting a copy anyway honey so let's try this one again Kaz, oh, Kaz Aussie Yarnaholic loves seeing how the Fiesta toys, Fiesta toys are turned out. Gorgeous unicorn blanket too. Thumbs up Australia. Congratulations darling. If you can um, send me a message when you uh, get a chance to watch the video when you wake up. Right, so I've been a bit cheeky. I've pre-recorded most of this video. So the section that hasn't been pre pre-recorded is the drawing so because of that i don't actually know who the winner is whilst we're recording this so congratulations to the name below congratulations honey um send me an email over with your um details on so that i can send you the pattern over now i will be honest as i have said the pattern is not completely completed to a perfect standard as yet the written content is fine it's just the photographs that haven't been added yet or the links to the future videos but what i'll do is i'll send you over the copy as it stands at the moment and then um once it's completed and it all looks perfect and all the video links are in and things then i will send you the newer version over um in a couple of weeks so let's get back to the normal general chat Right, so a couple of nights ago, I had done quite a chunk of the unicorn blanket and the counting and working everything out and then resetting. So because I had to do the reset, I needed to reset my brain. So it was pointless me carrying on making or counting the boxes for the unicorn square. So I'd had another bit of a delivery come through, um, which had lots of little bits in to make stitch markers. Yeah, so... Um, I made up some stitch markers and um, I've got them at the moment sitting on my little cork board um, just so that they look pretty <laughs> and um, what I'll do is I'll insert a picture of them on the cork board now I did try to bring the cork board to you but I just couldn't get it at the right angle or even in focus so I think this is going to be the easier option so here's a picture of a couple of them that have been made And to be honest, it was quite fun to do and to uh, um, do something different to um, crochet. Because, of course, most of the time it's crochet I'm crocheting pretty much constantly throughout the day unless I'm doing household chores. And to be honest, I'd rather crochet. <laughs> so, um, by making those, I was, it, it was just something that you could just do without really thinking about. And then last night, I started putting donkey together now he is nowhere near finished as you can see there's no face to him yet um he hasn't got his clothes on so he's naked donkey <laughs> and i've managed to do his tail but again it's 50 50 this bit's done that bit's done but the rest of it isn't and so hopefully i'll have him ready and standing behind me for the next whips and bits right so um another thing that i promised you all that i would do is if i got any pictures from any of you showing works that you've made using my patterns then i was gonna sort of at the end of each month or the beginning of each month pop in your photographs with who you're from so i was a bit naughty um I hadn't actually done two of them I thought I had but I've gone through the videos and I can't find them so the very first one out is this one how cute is that unicorn now Gypsy actually had that unicorn whipped up within a, within two days if that two days of the video going up so i was super duper impressed I was super duper impressed with it it was it's absolutely stunning isn't it right and then my next up is another unicorn this has come from sarah 
um, and she posted this one on my Facebook page now she had actually put a picture of her little girls with it but I had to delete that one because um, because I don't really want little ones on the, on the pictures I did explain to her and apologize for it so I have only got a picture of the unicorn rather than the unicorn and the girls are and the girls are really cute <laughs> So as you can see with that one, Sarah did an absolutely beautiful job and she even gave it a little mouth. How cute. And the last photo up is from our Sabrina. Now Sabrina has gone and done it again. She's hit that ball right out of the stadium. She has made a wearable using the um, Poppy Square tutorial. Um, she does plan at some point um, to actually make the rest of the pattern so that if you guys wanted to copy along you can pop on to my pattern for the square make up the squares and then jump over to her and she will show you how to make in the filling squares and all the extra bits so that you could make this wearable so sabrina thank you ever so much honey for showcasing and improving on my poppy squid it's i think it's absolutely gorgeous now the problem i've got with it is that i had to nick the photos sabrina i nicked them um, off the video so they're just screen grabs at the moment so they don't show it off to its best ability but what i'm going to do is i'm going to pop a link to the video where she's actually showing it and wearing it so you can have a closer look um, I was really really lucky I got to see it live um, so she propped her camera up and moved further away so that I could get a full view on it and it is absolutely gorgeous and yes I'll probably be making one of my own even though I hate working <laughs> with black Right, a little extra bit on the packages they all did arrive and next week's um, throwback Friday hopefully you will get to see what was in the package right I'm keeping this section of the video quite short as the video itself is quite long apologies there we're on about 45 minutes so I'm gonna head off now and I will see you all really really soon so if you can please stay in but definitely stay safe to for now everybody